we're here again. We got a game coming up Thursday, yes. so uh, that that will be when this is released. So today, I guess, is a game. Um, it's a quick week. It's yes. a quick week. Um, so let's just we, we've had a, an interesting season to, yes. to say the least. Um, but uh, I, I know you guys were out there back back at football, right. practicing football. Um, we kind of had a week to kind of uh, transition. Dealing with the the situation, and, mm-hmm. and we're back to football. Tell me how this week is, and, and how we've been preparing for uh, Westmore. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, uh, after you know the tragic events of uh, August twenty fifth and, and the game that, that, that people are aware of, you know, we gave our kids time and really kind of left it up to them on you know when the, when they wanted to kind of return to, to football and get back to football related activities. Um, you know, kind of the overwhelming response from them was like they wanted to do it, you know, fairly quickly. So. You know, we, we got back on the practice field and kind of eased into it and, you know, kept assessing, you know, emotional needs and all those things of our, of our players. And, uh, again, the overwhelming response was they just wanted to get back to, to playing football. They enjoy playing football. They, they like it. You know, it brings them happiness and, and wanted to go and do it. And so, you know, we've been able to kind of, you know, return to somewhat, you know, normal practice, you know, as the as the season has has gone on, you know, although obviously not, not nearly the same. And, you know, no one will be, you know, be able to forget or, you know, completely move on, uh, but you know, for for our players' sake, and uh, they they wanted to kind of get back, and so, yeah. So it is, it is a short week uh, playing on Thursday uh, against a quality opponent with with Westmore. Mm-hmm. Big win last week versus UConn. Uh, a team that you know I kind of think is on a rise. They can maybe upset some people throughout the year because um, you just notice week to week they continue to improve and get better. Um, and our you know our kids were, were ready to get back to you know trying to prepare for those guys. Okay. Well, that, that sounds good. Um, tell me a little bit about what uh, what I'm looking for um, against Westmore. What what, what have they got? Are yeah, they, they pass they, run. Yeah, I mean, they kind of do it all. You know, on offense, they have a really athletic quarterback. University of Houston commit. Okay. Uh, really really speedy kid. Throw the ball. Throw the ball well. Runs really well. Makes a lot of plays with his feet. You know, what's kind of impressed me about him is just how tough he is. You know, he'll take a lot of hits. Uh, take a lot of uh, you know uh, punishment in the run. You know, and if he's not you know outrunning people, and he'll get right back up and you know deliver a strike, and uh, he'll also play some defense. You know, play corner in the red zone situations, and so okay. just a really athletic kid, a really big physical tight end, another you know Division one kid, and then a bunch of speedy receivers and a really really big offensive line. So um, you know, be a big challenge for us on on defense. Um, one that you know we, we've been preparing for, and know that we have to be able to play our best ball to be able to have a chance to to beat those guys. Um, you know, anytime you're playing a six eight one opponent, you know, it'd be a much larger school, all those things, and uh, you know, and our kids like that challenge. And then, you know, on the defensive side, they're extremely athletic, extremely fast. You know, really good, solid linebacker core. They have the OU commit at safety. Um, you know, and just a bunch of big physical D linemen that are really really fast as well. So, it's been it's been you know uh, quite the challenge trying to prepare for those guys. And uh, you know, uh, in you know, uh, obviously. You know, factoring in all the things that have, that have obviously transpired within the program and the community, mm-hmm. and, and dealing with all those things, not only you know the the emotional scars of the situation, but also just um, you know how how much that that takes away from you know trying to prepare for an opponent, and you know and rightfully so. But with that said, it's uh, it, it is kind of you know that that was a challenge to try to regroup and be able to prepare for a quality opponent, you know, on short notice. Um, so looking forward towards the season, um, we lost out on a game, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's okay. So after tonight, uh, tonight, district play, right? Right, correct. So How is that looking right now? Are we looking? Uh... I mean, we'll, we'll have a better idea, you know, after after tonight, obviously. Okay. Uh, but you know, same opponents we played a year ago. You know, obviously, uh, you know, tough, tough, uh, tough district. We factor in, you know, PC North, PCO, Deer Creek, Lawton, PCO, you know, etc. Um, you know, and guys that there will be a lot of tough opponents in, in that district. And so, you know, where we're at, you know, as you mentioned, losing a game, you know, we played basically three quarters of a game and then, you know, had missed a game. And then now this is, you know, really, you know, you could almost buy percentages game one. You know, the first quarter will be, you know, like yeah, still, yeah. still, you know, being able to play game one. So, you know, we just, we kind of feel like a lot of things that, you know, we're kind of like, we feel like, you know, maybe should be a little bit farther ahead in some areas. Than what we are, um, but we also, you know, kind of realize that, you know, although it may be, you know, technically the third game of the season, you know, as far as actual game time experience, you know, we haven't really had very much, and so, you know, we know that we have to get after it really fast and and, and try to, you know, get experience as, as quickly as you can. So in practice, you're trying to simulate games as much as you can, simulate game game experience as much as you can to try to get, you know, good at playing football. And you know, it's oversimplified to say this, but a lot of times, you know, how do you get good at playing football? Well, you need to play football. 
Right, you know, right, right. And you can you can drill it and rep it and all those things, but ultimately, like you got to be able to get out and try to simulate a live game experience. And you know, historically, we've been pretty good as the season goes on and continue to improve and get better. That's something we take pride in, and our kids take pride in. Um, but you know, we don't have you're right, and we don't have a whole lot of game experience under our belt right now. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm excited. Uh, we saw a little bit of both quarterbacks playing. Um, you know, I don't think people understand how difficult a position that is to play, you know, uh, talking about quarterback. Mm -hmm. um, and just, you know, you see so many different looks live than you do in practice. And, of course, we try to prepare our best that we can for, for an opponent. But we always say they watch film, too, and they prepare, too. So they have a plan. A lot of times that's a plan that, that you know, we expect. And sometimes it's not. And so we have to be able to, like, make decisions, you know, at, at, uh, very, very quickly and be able to adjust. Uh, and then be able to do that live. And so just the more, you know, experience that a quarterback gets live, the more, you know, they, they put under their belt and they can kind of draw on those experiences in the future. But it's really, really tough. And so to echo your point, absolutely, quarterback play always gets better throughout the season, you know, as those experiences just keep stacking up and, and as they keep improving. So we look forward to that and hopefully an improvement from game one to now game two. Um, and then hopefully, you know, on to the district play, continue to get more and more crisp. Okay. It, it all sounds good. Basically, there's nothing to do it but to play it. You know, ne right. next week we'll have some game footage yes. and we'll have players of the game. And, yes. and we'll have a lot, lot more to talk about. We'll, have a, we'll, we'll finish a game and then that will be good. I'm not doing all that stuff uh, for the Dell City game. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to let that, that be um, and, you know, not, not cause any triggers. So we're just going to move forward from here. And uh, you know what? Thursday's go time. So uh, until next time. Ready. Thank you. Stay classy.